Howdy folks, Mudflaps here. Just pulling in here at Benton, Missouri. Pick up my load. What I usually do is drop my trailer off up here and the guy loads them and then I come up, pick up my trailer and strap down. That's my load. Got everything settled in. Head for Canada. It's 1,800 miles from Benton, Missouri up to Paradise Hill, Saskatchewan. It's starting to get dark out here. Got everything strapped down, ready to go. Show you the load. Got a ridge at 920. a new Holland. I'm not even sure what number that one is. Got a couple of case I case I H's on there. New Holland's got a 925 yawn here. Got another new Holland 925 up on top there. Benton, Missouri, Paradise Hills, Saskatchewan. Following a nice load, looks like a brand new John Deere combine on a step deck. They're going to Canada. It's rolling into uh, Minneapolis, uh, Minnesota. That a pretty load right there. It wouldn't be so cold if it's minus six. If it wasn't for being so windy, man, it's about 20, 25 mile per hour wind plus minus six, man. That makes it freaking cold. Just look at that exhaust on that truck. Uh, it's blowing straight over. And then you got snow blowing across the parking lot. When the locals start talking about just staying in for the day, you know it's got to be cold. We got all the combine heads unloaded up here, Paradise Hill, Saskatchewan. It's about minus 15 degrees uh, Fahrenheit this morning when I got here. And now warmed up to about one above. I'm going to walk around a little bit, show you a little bit the heads unloaded and the ones that have been completed. And it's tied up in the front. Got everything unloaded. Got bits and pieces and everything sitting around. They only had one head left when I got here, so it's ready for another batch to repair. Anyway, there's a buckets of bolts and everything. They put them back together. Bits and pieces and parts. Back there is a bunch of ones that are completed, ready to go. Bunch more heads over there. That air compressor on this truck's about to drive me crazy. But I'm just gonna have to deal with it till I get home. Need to rebuild. Just uh, one of the last steep hills, which there aren't very many, but there's a, like a ravine with a bridge at the bottom and it's a long downhill and a long uphill and it's kind of scary. Put my gate brake on, kind of hold back. Got a 
44 cents 556 liters I'll let you do the math but that's a lot of a lot of money for not more fuel than I got in Canada I'm in Paradise Hill right now okay folks got the uh, headers all unloaded spent about two hours 15 minutes going northeast Further up north in Saskatchewan, pick up a load of lumber at North Ass Lumber Products. I'm gonna show a little bit uh, the load I got. What do you think about that thing? They got a fire going underneath, it's like a pyramid, and up there is where the smoke comes out. Looks like maybe some crap or something going up that conveyor up into inside that thing there anyway that's studs building studs two by four ninety sixes one four Nineteen. I think they said it's about thirty thousand board feet in this load. The reason I put a twist in these straps is so they don't buzz going down the road. You put like a twist. This one I didn't get a twist, and this one's gonna be vibrating down the road. It's gonna be singing a song. A lot of them gonna be doing like that. The rest of them. Got a bunch of stuff sitting out there. Looking good. Meadow Lake, Saskatchewan. On over into Fargo, North Dakota. We have stopped on the road between Davis and Chamberlain. Saskatchewan looked like grain hauler caught on fire. They got both lanes southbound shut down. So we just is sitting here. Hopefully they'll get the thing put out. They got fire trucks up there emergency vehicles hopefully nobody got hurt but there's a lot of smoke going across the road up there something's burning up they say it's a grain hauler grain truck caught on fire down there you can see the smoke going across the road there all right where that semi is coming through 
Oh yeah, right between the trucks there you can see a little bit of smoke. Y'all need to look at this mammoth for the truck. Twin steer. I bet it's as high as my higher my window sill here. That's a big old truck right there. Smoke's kind of dying down. Hopefully they will have it put out here before long and let us go through. Okay, folks. I'm at the uh, Canadian-U.S. border here in Porto, North Dakota, or they call it North Portal in uh, Canada. The south side of the border, they just call it Portal, North Dakota. Anyway, this is what I need to get across. Got a load of lumber I picked up in Meadow Lake. Got my ACE manifest paper. Got my uh, driver's license and my... Uh, um, passport and my credit card because it costs to get in the US so it's I don't know, I think 14 bucks or something like that anyway over there is the uh, border crossing was where I got to go through got to go make this u-turn and uh, we'll be back in the US yay just a few minutes later I'm in the US Gonna go over in that little store there, get me a bite to eat. Head on south. I can buy it with US dollars. Howdy folks, just me again. Headed down the road and noticed the glare from the oncoming cars was kind of shiny on the road. And I thought, well, suppose the roads might be slippery. So uh, I eased up a little bit. I was doing about 65. I had my cruise set at 65. So I eased up on the, uh, I broke my cruise and dropped down to about 55. And then I gassed on it and, uh, and I lost traction at 55 mile an hour. So I know. Uh, I was having black ice issues, so, uh, so shoot, I'm so close to Carrick to North Dakota, I'll just pull in here, no use to be driving around the roads with them all slicked up like that, and uh, right after I thought that, I seen a big truck in the ditch on my side, and he was facing my direction, but he was all the way off the road, so I just creeped in here about 40 mile an hour, so we're going to park it for the night, and uh, wait till the road conditions get a little better. I can't unload till Monday anyway. I gotta go to Woffington, North Dakota with this load of lumber. I won't be able to unload till Monday anyway. I'll get you later. Another thing I wanna stop here in Carrington, just across the road, there's a big Napa store, and I'm talking about a big Napa store. They, it's about three times the store that I got in, at home. And they got all kinds of goodies in there. And this air dryer, air compressor is driving me nuts. Uh, this thing will blow, blow off about four or five times in this short time I'm making a video. And you'll hear it in the video. And I've been listening to this for three, almost three straight days. Uh, it's not quite as frequent when I'm sitting here with the island, but when it's going down the road and I got turbo pressure going down through there into the air compressor it just pops off every three seconds and it is it is just insane um, tomorrow I'm gonna do a little investigation I'm thinking it might be a check valve from the compressor to the air dryer and with this big Napa store across the street I might be able to get the parts I need to to figure this and fix this thing Cause I am tired. I don't. I don't know if I can stand listening to this thing till I get home. <laughs> 